Let's uh, move on to truth or fake. Catalina is uh, joining us uh, in her side of our studio. Good evening, Catalina. Now, we're taking a look tonight at, uh, well, claims online that the British monarchy stole um, the crown jewels. Um, I sense this one depends on which agenda you've got to set out, but tell us what you found. Indeed, Mark. Uh, many people took to Twitter following Queen Elizabeth uh, II's death uh, as an opportunity uh, for the royal family to return uh, the stolen jewels uh, to their countries. Uh, the Kohinoor diamond is uh, one of them. This diamond from India, right here. This is believed to be one of the most, uh, one of the world's most expensive uh, diamonds in the world, valued at about four hundred million dollars at one hundred and nine carats. Uh, here's a picture of the diamond uh, that sits in the Queen's imperial a state crown. And almost immediately following the Queen's death online, the word Kohinoor started uh, trending on social media in India. This user right here saying, so when will those colonizers give us back that Kohinoor diamond that they took from us? Uh, we have more tweets right here. This one, for example, saying, can India get back the Kohinoor diamond slash everything in the British Museum that was stolen? Uh, or this Twitter user right here saying, pictured here is the Kohinoor diamond stolen uh, by the British and now in the hands of the royal family. So was the Coiner Diamond as stolen uh, as many claim? There's been ownership dispute for many years uh, for this diamond, but the latest one during 2016, uh, India said that it should forego this claim uh, to the jewel because it was given to Britain as a gift in 1851, uh, laying the dispute to rest for now uh, as it was brought up by the uh, Court of Public Opinion. Uh, and even though future plans for this uh, diamond haven't been disclosed just yet uh, reports are that the crown uh, will be passed down to Camilla, the Queen Consort. Uh, Mark. So 1851, that would have been a gift to Queen Victoria. I suppose the question is, did the person who gave it have the right to give it? And maybe that's where the theft angle comes in. I'm not sure, but it seems we've clarified a little something there. Uh, moving on to another claim, Catalina. Did Queen Elizabeth II own a stolen diamond from Africa? Some are saying she did. Can you clarify? Indeed, this diamond from Africa goes by the name of the Great Star of Africa. We have it right here. Here's a picture of the diamond uh, being worn by Queen Elizabeth. Uh, it's believed to be the largest diamond in the world in the imperial scepter at 530 carats, estimated at $400 million as well. And in the morning of the Queen's death, many went to Twitter claiming that the diamond was stolen. This Twitter user right here saying Queen Elizabeth II owns the the largest clear-cut diamond in the world known as the Great Star of Africa. Um, it was mined in South Africa back in 1905 and it was stolen from South Africa. So this is claim number one. Claim number two is that this diamond was renamed. Uh, the British replaced the name the Great Star of Africa with the name of the chairman of the mine, uh, Thomas Cullinan. So we're going to review both of these claims. For claim number one, uh, historical records do confirm that the Great Star of Africa was bought by, uh, by South Africa and presented to the King Edward VII as a gift back in 1907, as said um, uh, by Buckingham Palace, uh, by a Buckingham Palace spokeswoman. So this is based on historical records. And for claim number two, uh, the Cullinan diamond, this is actually the original diamond that's, that's about 3,000 carats. And this was cut into bits and one was put in the Queen's scepter, uh, imperial scepter that we see in the picture right here. Uh, but as many point out, this Twitter user points out as well, uh, 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 these aren't the only claims out there. There's also ownership disputes uh, for crown jewels from Iran, Afghanistan, and uh, Pakistan as well. Mark. Indeed, where there is value, there will be a dispute. Catalina, thank you very much indeed for truth or fake. Thank you to Kate for the business too, as ever. And thanks most of all to you for watching wherever you are. Stay with us. More to come live in Paris.